Today's passage is taken from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. And the passage says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. When we look at the topic of faith in our devotion today, the passage tells us that we have to lay aside every weight and the sin which ensnares us or the sin which weighs us down. As you walk with God, as you think about journeying in your faith with Him, these are the two things that we need to do. Number one, lay aside every weight. And number two, run. Run the race with endurance. Now the first one, how do we lay aside every weight? How do we lay aside the weight and, and the sin which weighs us down? Of course, the first thing is to repent. But as you do that, would you also go to God sincerely as you pray? Would you close your eyes and tell God and confess your sins? Confession of sins is the first step we need to do to put all these sins and weight aside from us. And when you do that, you can trust in Jesus, the author, the one who founded our faith, the perfecter of our faith. He is the one who can deliver us and rescue us from all these sins. And when all this weight is thrown away, when we have not carried any sins on us, that is when we do the second thing to do. That is when we run. That is when we run, we run the race with endurance, with endurance set up for us. The key word here is to run with endurance. If you are so busy right now, if you're so busy with your schoolwork, if you're a student, with your work commitments, even if you're being tied down with your ministry commitments, the passage tells us to keep running with endurance. In other words, the race of faith is not something that is easy. It is not something easy, it's not something smooth, but we are all called to run with endurance, looking unto Jesus, because He is the one who has died and rose again. He is the one who for the joy set before Him, He endured the cross. He endured the cross, despising the shame, and He has now become victorious. He's seated down at the right hand of God. So when we look unto Jesus, we can run in the same way as He has showed us. He is the model of how we should run. And as you run with endurance, I want to encourage you that this is not the time to give up. This is not the time to, to pause. If you are driving, this is the time to shift your gears, shift your gears and run with endurance and not grow weary. As you go into your secret place to pray, as you go into the place to turn your eyes back on God, would you also go back into that place of faith? Not to give up, not to grow weary, but hold on to your faith. Cast aside all the sins and run with endurance the race that is set out for you. Would you have faith? Would you look unto Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith today? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the youth today specifically. Would you help them, Lord, as they look to you? Help them to cast aside their sins, the sins that weighs them down, the sins that ensnares them, and help them to run this race with endurance as they look to you, the one who authors and perfects our faith. We thank you for the work you're doing in the next generation. We pray, Lord, that more and more youths will come to know who you are, and we pray that you use us mightily to win them over. We thank you and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.